31 Division. I'm Andrew Kiss. I'm a sergeant with the Committee Response Unit. Uh, welcome to 31. The, uh, the police service and members of the, of the uh, Committee Response Unit, we really appreciate and we understand there's a, a real need um, to build partnerships with the different cultures and the different people within our community. And there's a, uh, a principle in policing that a man named Sir Robert Peel back in the 1800s developed that the people are the police and the police are the people. And we build on that in the community response unit. That's one of our responsibilities to reach out to the community so we can be part of the community and have the community part of us. We can help you in the community only when we have friendships, understanding, and you're comfortable dealing with us. And we understand that certain communities there is a bridge that we have to gap. And members of my office, uh, Mohammed Haji and Sohel Nadim, have uh, decided to take this initiative to reach out and build a bridge and to uh, build on the, the relationships and the, the bridges that we already have, the, the contacts that we already have within the Muslim community, and also to offer our hand out and build new bridges, bigger bridges, and hopefully we can keep on um, uh, building those and making them better. So, I'd like to introduce the officers in my unit, Mohammed Haji, he's the, the officer who, developed, who came up with the idea to, to have this evening here, and Saddam Nadim, the next to him on the left. Another officer within our unit is uh, Mr. Mudo here, um, he's assisting us with this. Um, the officers came to me and our boss and explained a little bit about your, your religious time that you're having now, uh, of Ramadan. I'm not familiar with the Muslim culture, the Muslim religion. It was explained to me that at this time you're fasting during daylight hours, but when the sun goes down, you have a tradition of iftar, where you break the fast, and that's a time where you, you share with others, and you take time to do good deeds. This time, I believe, I've been told, is your time of Ramadan, and we want to make the best of this time to allow us to come together and share. And I understand this is also an opportunity for you amongst yourselves if you don't already have the bridges. I believe we have three different mosques here. And if you don't know each other, it's going to give you a time for you to get to know each other and build some bridges within your own culture, in your own community. Um, and the officers here may have a... a Unfortunately, our unit commanders uh, aren't available tonight to, to come and speak to us. Um, but in their, in their absence, I'm taking upon myself to, to welcome you here to the division. And a, a few words from the officers, Mohamed uh, Haji. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. The idea is that the police officers are no different than any other community members. We live in this community, we work in this community, we are part of this community. And that, that is the idea that came into my mind, to bring all of us together here from different mosques and create a, a brotherhood and let you guys know that we, how we work and we are here to serve you regardless of any religion, any cultural background. That's why we're here. We welcome you guys for the first time. Hopefully, inshallah, we will continue this, uh, this event in the near future as well. Welcome again, everybody. Uh, my name is Police Constable Sohail Adim, as the sergeant said, and I fully concur with the sergeant and PC Haji. Great to see you guys here. It's all about bridging the gaps. Uh, I remember going to my sergeant the first day when I was brand new uh, in this unit and saying to the sergeant, <coughs> I feel that there is a reason, a lot other reason that I got hired, which is my background, what I bring to the table. And I think this is the best chance for me to reach out to my community and see <coughs> what bridges I can make and how we can utilize those bridges to police our, our community. And he, he concurred with the idea and su supported us all the way. We started going to the mosque during the prayer time in uniform, approaching you guys. And exactly how we thought it would be, people felt a lot more comfortable seeing a fellow Muslim praying next to them in uniform, start approaching us, and here we are today. And once again, we welcome all of you, and let's keep this connection going. 
and let's help each other solve, solve our problems. Thank you very much. Back to Sarah. And I'm going to leave it to the officers now. To, um, you're going to have a few moments now to, to talk amongst yourself, you, or if you haven't already been doing that. Sir, we have uh, Brother Usman here from uh, Indal Islam, and he's going to just say a few words. And then, I don't know who is here from uh, Talim Islam. Anybody here is representing Talim Islam? Uh, how about Tariq Mosque? Okay, I'll let Brother Kasim. Kasim. Say a few words on behalf of Tarek Mosque too, please. Mr. Uh, just put this on here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Uh, my name is Usman Khan, and I'm the co chair, civilian co chair of the Police Chiefs uh, Muslim Conservative Committee. With me here is our uh, liaison officer, uh, uh, PC uh, um, uh, Jamshid Habibullah. <coughs> And uh, he is also having a lot of representatives from the Muslim Conservative Committee. Would you please stand those from the Muslim Conservative Committee? They're here. Mashallah. Thank you very much. Now, a little bit about the Police Chiefs Muslim Conservative Committee is that we, we, we meet once a month at police headquarters downtown, uh, 40 College Street. We bring issues that the community has to the table and we try to form resolutions and try to appease the situation at hand. It's very interactive. Recently we had the tri-sport competition where we gather the youth together. Uh, we recently had uh, an information session about mental health, which is an important issue for a community. I'm sure you don't know many of the things that uh, the police services do, and this is an opportunity for you to know, to get to know what they do, and in turn, tell them what you need them to do for your community. It's a, it's a conduit whereby uh, information is passed both ways. I am so excited to be here. When PC uh, Nadine called me, uh, he says, Brother Osman, uh, we'd like to have uh, the Muslim community that uh, resides around the area to come to Niftar here. I was so ecstatic. I told him, I said, we bring mats from Indah. Don't worry. We'll, uh, I'll make sure that I go to these communities and make sure members come. So alhamdulillah, we are here. We are very thankful to, uh, for, for the town police services, and especially 31 Division. And uh, Sergeant, you did a great job uh, in, in, in agreeing to this, because uh, we're going to expect this every year, I tell you. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> and and uh, I'm thinking to myself, as I was escorting uh, uh, the brothers in white hat and beards and so on inside, well, I wonder what happened if somebody goes and tweet uh, uh, all the Muslims uh, that lives in Jane and Finch area is being escorted into 31 Division. What will happen to the media there? And then, and then I saw all these people, and then I came to Brother Lee and I said, Brother Lee, you sure you have enough food for all these people? Because Tariq announced it publicly to come here, right? Uh, so so and, he, and he said, no worry, there's a barakat that will, will make everything happen. So we are very excited to be here, and thank you for inviting us. Uh, these uh, police officers put their life on the line for us. Uh, to protect us and our families, and today they have gone beyond that uh, to extend their warmth and hospitality uh, to the Muslim community. And I'm very so excited, and I thank you very much, all that is involved, Haji and and and, 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 and Sergeant, and everybody who is involved here. We thank you very much. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless each and every one of you, and and enjoy the Ramadan. Uh, with your permission, I'd like to call my liaison coach here uh, to say a few words on behalf of the uh, staff superintendent who is not here. I represent the civilian co-chair, and uh, staff superintendent, who is not here, is the police co-chair. So, uh, instead of each other, putting him on the spot here. You know what, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> he's accustomed to that. Kind of thing. Well, assalamu alaikum to everyone. Uh, happy Ramadan to everyone, first of all. Uh, Serge, uh, thanks for, for having us here, and uh, brother uh, Anadim and I uh, think this initiative to uh, bring the uh, Muslim community in one room. And I believe uh, the three mosques that's in, in the 31 division, they serve a purpose, just like uh, the station here is serving a purpose for the community. And I believe, and I guess all, everyone can agree in this room, that this, uh, institutions, they serve the community in a different way, uh, bringing everyone together. and. Uh, and then on behalf of our uh, committee, 
we welcome everyone from the, today and uh, thanks very much for having us. Um, good call on uh, representing the uh, uh, IMO to say a few words. Yes, as and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, it's indeed a pleasure, as expressed by all the previous speakers, to be here. Uh, what a wonderful evening and what a wonderful uh, uh, crowd to be among. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah, we thank uh, all, the, uh, all those involved, uh, you know, uh, to arrange this and, uh, and to make it happen. Uh, you know, um, our friend here, Constable, um, Constable Ahmed Haji, he lives um, in the Tobuk area. He attends the IMO, and he's part of IMO, and when he expressed the idea to you, he uh, similarly expressed it to me as well. I said, what a wonderful thought, what a wonderful way to express, um, you know, uh, breaking the fast so that others can understand um, our culture and, and our practices. And he said, you know what, although IMO is not uh, within the Tord um, One Division, it's not within the One Division, he is part of IMO, so therefore IMO has to be here. So uh, thank you for thinking about us, and uh, what an inclusiveness, what an inclusiveness. And on that note, I said, you know what, 23 Division has to be here as well. So on that note, I invited uh, our friend here, Constable um, Amar Khan, and his, uh, his partner, I can't remember your name, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, the, the wonderful, spectacular sister besides me. So uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and we're hoping to have a, a spectac spectacular uh, uh, breaking of the past, in short. We will call on the Vice President of the Dadal Islamic Center, Abul uh, Akbar, to say a few words on behalf of the Dadal Center. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. All of you who are not Muslims. And I'm not a politician, so you can see who the politicians are. And it's a good thing you invited them, because they can take this forward. And we would like to thank all you members of the uh, First Division here for inviting us here. And um, I don't see why you guys are not fasting, because the Creator says fasting has been prescribed for us as it has been prescribed to the one before us. <laughs> so if you do it with that, you should, uh, you know, it is, it is no point in uh, just a few of the Muslims only fasting, keeping away from food for so long. We should all go through the sufferings. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we like thank, I would like to thank you on behalf of the United Islamic Center for inviting all of us here and so that we can uh, mingle with each other. And we have a lot of programs going on here. Our communities get together. But this is something new. And basically, the way I look at it, we are all in the same business. We try to hold the people, to put the character. And uh, when that something goes wrong, the police takes over from there. So we will try to do our job. And by the will of the Creator, we hope you guys do yours. But basically, stay more even the sort of protect business. Thank you very much. <coughs> our, our unit commander is here. I'll, I'll call upon Inspector Hussain to say a few words. Sure. Hello and welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm so glad everybody was able to make it. It's, uh, it's a bigger turnout than we even expected, I believe. So. Um, I'm glad you took the time out to come and see some familiar faces. Fantastic. So, um, please, while you're here, make yourselves comfortable. Um, one of the things that I've also asked some of my officers to, to do is to reach out to you and see if even beyond here, if you, this shouldn't be your only time to visit here. We have, we have a, a community liaison committee and otherwise. <coughs> please feel free to participate and visit us, not just today, but, but at any time. Um, if, especially if you if you reside within the division, even if you don't, you're more than welcome to be here. So, hopefully, 
if you need anything, please let me or one of the officers know. We'll make sure that uh, that it's facilitated for you. So, once again, thank you and, and welcome for coming. Just to add something to this, our inspector had to leave his some personal commitment to be here to attend this, uh, this event. Thank you, thank you thank inspector. You. Other council? Want to say a few words, please? <coughs> Father well, Kassam is here from Dark Mosque. Those are those say a few words. Brothers and sisters of other faith, may the peace and mercy of Almighty God be upon each and every one of you. On behalf of the Tariq Islamic Center, the executive, the Imam, and everyone else, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation for having invited us here today. When the two brothers uh, came to Tariq uh, and, made, uh, and made the announcement that they wanted us here, I was very surprised. I didn't expect them that I was playing badminton on that day, so I went up and introduced myself and I said, definitely we will be part of this. So unfortunately, our Imam is doing his after today at the mosque, and that's why he's not here. But uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And we all came from different communities. And we came to Canada because one of the main reasons, because of the law and order we have here. So it's a pleasure to be here in the, in the police station and not behind the bar, but in this, uh, <laughs> this uh, way. And you know, we see what you all are doing. I've seen some of the brothers attending the mosque, and it's a pleasure. Uh, I remember one day I pulled into the mosque and I saw the, the crews are there, and I said, well, what's going on here today? I go down and they were performing so So it's a, it's a pleasure to see that you all are reaching out, the, the, the higher up, the, the, the committee as a whole. And I definitely will need them uh, in other things because I, um, I help run a, a condominium corporation as well, where there's a lot of problems. So we will need the police officers there as well. So I will be talking to you all on that. Anyway, uh, uh, Ramadan Kareem to everyone. And uh, may we all enjoy this month of Ramadan. One of the brothers said we should all be fasting. Well, we all do fast. The different religions fast in different ways. And uh, I like to say uh, whether um, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam is 95% similarity. Too often we talk about the differences, but we are so similar that it's unbelievable. These few words, Assalamu alaikum. Do we have, I, I saw for the more people coming in, do we have somebody from Talim al-Islam that want to say a few words? Will the Shazad here? Yeah. I was told uh, by Brother Qasim that he's from Saudi Arabia, he's just visiting. Lips. They would like to say a few words. Born in Canada or lives there? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that it's a great initiative that's been done by the 31 Division and the police force, reaching out to the Muslim community and trying to bridge the gap. Uh, myself, as a person born and raised in Toronto, I realized how the youth have been uh, becoming more and more involved in crime and violence, and we established uh, uh, an initiative also to reach out to the youth and to help them learn more about moral values. And that's what happens from faith centers. So uh, I think that is very key and important that the police department is reaching out to the faith centers to help uh, facilitate this transition with youth coming back from violence and coming out of crime. So I'd like to thank everyone uh, for the opportunity. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Uh, what is the time now? You gonna time is 8:52, uh, so we're going to start bringing some. We're going to start bringing in some of the food for our and, and I understand that when the, the when you actually break your, break the fast, there's a it's a ceremonial uh, <laughs> sort of breaking, and then you're going to go into your prayer. Yeah. I'll leave that with you to organize how you're going to do all that. And we'll bring in some food now. Too, okay. okay. okay.
So please feel free. Don't feel don't feel you need to sit down. You can give me Go amongst you and you will talk. Where are you from? Yeah.